Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to take a little bit of a turn again and I'm gonna talk of something a little bit more political. Um, I enjoy my guns and I enjoy uh, doing my reviews and doing those things. Uh, I'm still learning a lot of this stuff and it's new to me, uh, but I really enjoy it. But I also have taken a much renewed interest in the uh, political side as it pertains to the firearms and the Second Amendment. And I've seen a lot of things coming down the pike that I don't necessarily like, and I've really had to educate myself on it. And one of the things I caught yesterday, uh, maybe it was the day before, I don't know, um, came down on Reddit. I happened to see it. It was about uh, Vermont. And one of the new red flag laws that they have it in place that they uh, moved in earlier this year. And they've taken action on it a few times, but this one really stuck in my uh, craw a little bit. Th this was about... Uh, Two students that were looking to possibly shoot up a school or uh, identified individuals that they were going to shoot at the school and they were going to steal firearms from an uncle's house to gain access to firearms. Now some other students overheard this, they reported to their parents, the parents went to the police, all perfectly the way it should be. Um, if kids hear things and they hear about those kind of things, by all means they need to get people to know it and they did. And the parents put, contacted the police, they identified the kids, uh, they apprehended the kids, they have them in custody, uh, but they went a step further. They went and still got an extreme risk protection order from the judge. Um, these are the, what the red flag laws are all about. Now, the judge approved it to go take the guns from the uncle. Now, these kids don't live with the uncle, uh, they're there, but they went and took his firearms away because of the actions of his nephew. This is not okay. This is not the way it works. And uh, this is where we're seeing these red flag laws are really going to get stretched. Now what the judge did was completely illegal. If you look at the law, and I've looked at the law, there's nothing that says they can go take it from a third party. Now, if they've already got him in custody, they've already done everything they're supposed to do, why not at least notify that uncle? By all means, go do that. Notify that uncle that this was about to happen. This is what they were going to do. And to make sure that he is um, in full custody of his firearms and he knows where they're at at all times. That's a great thing to do. But to go and then take those firearms, for one, when the child's already in custody. Two, he's a third party sitting outside. This isn't his his son, this isn't his home that these boys reside in. They just took his firearms. And this is where we're going to see these red flag laws start to lead to illegal actions by the police and the judges that in the good of safety of everybody, we're going to go and take these firearms. That's not the way it works, people. That's not the way it works at all. And we need to start paying attention with all these uh, laws that the Democrats are trying to push through before they're even in, in, in their term, they're already developing all these laws to try to take our firearms away. We need to be proactive. The other side has been very proactive in trying to find ways to take away our guns. They have given us a scarlet letter. If you talk about guns and you want your Second Amendment rights, you're a bad person. Wrong. That's not right at all. We care. We don't, we, when people get hurt and people get shot, we care. But we understand that there's a different way to go about it than to take the guns from everybody. That's not going to solve the problem. All it's going to do is solve a problem for the rich elites and those guys that want to take your firearms away. But us down here, we're just going to lose our rights. We can't let that happen. And I urge all of you to start looking at these things as I have. Um, I've never been a big political person. I've always enjoyed my firearms, but I'm watching it from the sideline looking at this is a this is a big problem and I'm not a very eloquent speaker I'm not one to get out there in front of a camera very often but I'm going to be doing more and more of these because I think it's important that these things get out to people and that they understand that these red flag laws are not what everybody thinks they're not common sense laws and it's going to hurt us all and it's going to take all of our rights away. If it's already going this route, it's going to happen again. I mean, I've seen the ones with the 3D printed law that wants to come out, which has almost zero to do about 3D printing and about taking the rights away from uh, selling online or doing online things or uh, selling parts kits or all these things are going to go away if we're not careful and we don't follow through and read what these bills are really about. So I urge you all to get out there, uh, start the conversations with people. There's a lot of people that uh, fall into that FUD 
category that people talk about where they believe in hunting and I have my, my hunting rifle and my firearm and my shotgun and who needs a bump stock and who needs this? It's not about who needs. Those things are gonna go away if you don't start paying attention. Because those laws that are written about bump stocks are trickling down to take away your hunting rifle and your home defense handguns. Those things, believe it or not, are there. And they're going to do it. Feinstein and her group have already said, and she's been on record and on camera, saying that if she could take them all away, she would. That is the ultimate end goal for a lot of these people, no matter what they say about the Second Amendment. So get out there, fight for what's ours, and don't let it slip away. Once we lose these rights, getting them back is almost impossible. So I urge you all to get involved. Um, just wanted to get this off my chest a little bit. It bothered me some. And um, if you've got some comments about it, please put them down below. I'd love to hear what other people have to say. I'd love to start that conversation. Letting people understand. They, they think it's one thing, but maybe we can show them that it's not just about a bump stock. Get out there. It's not just about a red flag law. Get out there and learn it. Uh, be proactive. Uh, that's the only way we're going to keep our rights. And this goes for all of our rights. Uh, not just the Second Amendment, but these Second Amendment laws that they're trying to pass start infringing on First Amendment, Fourth Amendment. These things are going to start hurting the country as a whole. And it's all under the guise of self-protection uh, um, of the masses. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to listen to the rant. By all means, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what people have to say. Get that conversation started. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and you like some of the other videos. Check out the reviews. I appreciate your time. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will talk to you again soon. Hope you all have a great holiday.